this next week is hands down my favorite time of year. It's the reason I'm out there shooting my bow for hours at a time. It's the reason I'm putting in my elk call and practicing just by myself on the way to and from work. It's the reason that I find myself lying awake at night with butterflies in my stomach just thinking about the possibility of what could be. It's the time of year I get to shut off my phone, no emails, no texts, nothing. It's, it's hunting week. It's three tags in your pocket, a deer, an antelope, an elk, it's Colorado, it's everything. It's my favorite week. We're here in central Colorado, uh, about a hundred miles from anything, and then we're about four miles from the truck where we're hunting at. Uh, camp is about two miles, two to three miles from the truck, and that's where we set up base camp down there, and we're kind of using it as a jump off point. So most of the places that we're hunting are about an hour to an hour and a half long hike from the campsite. So they'd be about two and a half to three hours from the truck if you were just starting from the truck. Um, but it's not so bad with where we're camped at. So we know that there's about 12 different bulls in here. We have at least a dozen pictures of a dozen distinguishable different bulls. So we know that there's a lot of different bulls in here and we know that there's at least four that we would definitely take shots on the first day. Uh, there's one that we're really after who uh, kind of is obviously our main target and uh, that's, he's going to be the focus of our hunt for the most part. But we might have to take one of these other bulls if we get an opportunity on them as well because they'd definitely be respectable bulls. So we'll just play it by ear and, uh, and see what happens. So uh, this is my first hunt coming on with uh, Joe and Jared. Definitely appreciative. Got to gotta come into the uh, preparation process. Did a lot of stuff with Joe this summer. Um, had a lot of fun. Saw a lot of beautiful country. Um, learning new things so far. Really excited to see uh, what we might get into these next couple days. Uh, but for me, you know, the trip's kind of already been made. Just hanging out with these guys and learning the ropes. They've been showing me a lot. So it's definitely something I'm excited. Uh, get my feet wet in hunting and uh, hopefully continue on from here. There's a string of them. Where? They're going across the area. Oh, yeah. Up there. I can't see which one's there. That's a nice bull, isn't it? We weren't sure how big the bull was. It was really, really still pretty dark whenever we, we first laid eyes on the bull. It was hard even with the spotting scope to be able to tell what caliber bull he was. Uh, so we kind of uh, played it out, let it play itself out, and uh, we waited for it to get a little bit lighter so that we could tell what was going on. In that time, we realized that the bull, sure enough, was a really nice bull. It was definitely gonna be worth going after. Uh, but unfortunately, 
uh, in the time uh, from the time that we first saw them uh, until it was light enough to make a play, they were actually making significant progress across the ridge line. So, and it was uh, definitely a six by six or or better. So, um, you know, they were just we tried to kind of keep pace with them, but they were moving too fast back to the bedding area. So, uh, we've spent the last hour or so kind of sitting in our we have a ground blind set up uh, near where they're bedding you know chances are they're probably already in the bedding area and and all done there um, for the day won't be moving around too much but we also thought we heard another uh, another bugle back here uh, behind us earlier too so we know there's some satellite bulls already and stuff so we'll see We're gonna go try and uh, see if we can catch some deer bedded down up here. Uh, we know they've been kind of hanging around. We're gonna go walk around, go real slow, glass. Um, supposedly there's two big bucks that, that they've been seeing, so uh, hopefully we can get on them. saw unfortunately um hunter's worst nightmare you do everything right to get yourself the opportunity and then you blow the opportunity uh it's a, a terrible feeling that i have right now um i don't know what happened if i got a bad range i've been uh trying to range some other things here uh in the meantime to make sure my range finder is working but you know just really feel like i let the team down uh joe and joel have been working non-stop just to to get me that opportunity. I've been thinking about that opportunity for so long and unfortunately it's that that mistake that sticks with you all the way till next year and, and longer. Um, I'm really hoping I get another chance at a big big deer to kind of redeem myself and uh, and make it happen for the team. So hopefully, hopefully we can put something together so I can uh, sleep at night.
sometimes the frustrating thing about hunting with a bow is that you can be well within rifle range. We were only 250 yards away from these elk and couldn't close the distance and couldn't call them into us. So you're left helpless standing there watching as the elk just walk away. Okay, so to give everyone an update on what's going on, uh, today this is day three of our hunt and we got up bright and early to go chase some elk, but Joe woke up with a uh, nasty cough going on. It was pretty apparent from the start that he had some fluid in his lungs uh, and having camp three and a half miles back there uh, becomes a pretty scary situation of just trying to get the person out of there. Um, so we uh, we changed that to be our top priority. Uh, elk can wait another day. We got uh, got Joe out luckily and got him uh, to urgent care. He did have pneumonia. Um, and so we, uh, Joe, Joel and I went ahead and backpacked everything out. Uh, we're gonna kind of put elk hunting aside and probably focus a little more on deer and antelope. Uh, unfortunately, Joe is the one who has access to the horses and stuff and we certainly don't want to uh, down an elk five or six miles back in here and uh, and spend four days packing it out so it's just just not worth it at that point so we're going to change it up and, uh, and chase some deer and antelope around so hopefully it all works out. in a spot we might be able to close the distance and sneak on him. Well, I'm a little worried because the sun is now coming up over us, making it harder to uh, get a good look at him and hopefully it doesn't light us up too much.
pretty nice when it's this easy to find your arrow. No problems with that. That's uh, that's some good blood right there. We tried to look back at the videotape and unfortunately Joel felt pretty bad that he had missed the framing of the shot. So couldn't tell the exact shot placement, but I felt pretty confident. Um, and it looks like we have a good blood trail. So we're just gonna keep tracking it. Yeah, that baby's down. Yeah. I don't hit it good. Hell yeah. That ain't bad. All right, guys, this is definitely what it's all about. Um, couldn't be more happy. To get one on the ground it's you know not the biggest antelope i've ever gotten by by any means but every one you get with a bow seriously feels like a trophy so they are they are hard to close the distance on if you're doing some spot and stock uh hunting on antelope they you know they'll kind of they're curious enough that they'll let you get to about 100 100 yards to 80 yards and um, but once you really start uh, trying to close the distance more than that, it, it get, becomes really difficult. So I feel extremely blessed to make this come together. I uh, definitely want to thank both my buddies Joel and Joe for uh, all their hard work. They've been scouting and doing stuff for our elk hunt all summer long. But man, I am pumped. I, I can't tell you enough how, uh, how excited I get to make that call to my dad and my brother and tell them I got one on the ground. My dad always gets real fired up. It makes me feel pretty good. So he was the one who introduced me to hunting. So I feel like I owe it all to him. Um, you know, just just really excited, feeling blessed right now. I miss every part of this when I'm in Minnesota. This is definitely the Colorado hunting I grew up with and, and uh, I've grown to love. So I'll be back again next year. Hello. Hello. You got one. I didn't say anything yet. <laughs> well, you're calling early. Well, we got an antelope. All right. Good. Good for you. All right, so uh, I might actually get a chance at redemption after all. We were driving, there's a road that goes way up high. And we came in and, and we spotted a big big buck uh, down below. He has another buck with him that's that's even potentially a shooter, but definitely uh, have our eyes set on that big one. So we're gonna try and sneak up. Uh, there's kind of a little knoll here. We're gonna try and get up over it and see if uh, if he's still on the other side. So almost no wind. We're gonna try and uh, be as quiet as possible. Obviously, it's pretty hard when you got nothing to cover your sound and, and this uh, pretty dry Colorado grass going on right now. So um, hopefully, like I said, I really want a redemption shot for that other one. So one thing you can't understand unless you're right there is how many things are actually happening in that moment. You're trying to range the distance of the deer. You're trying to stay as quiet as possible. Your heart is pumping through your chest. Your, your palms are sweating. Um, you're trying to tell yourself, be calm. And on top of that, uh, for Joel, he's got to try and worry about getting everything in frame. Unfortunately, him and I had a miscommunication on which deer we were looking at. He had the deer on the left that was bedded down and easier to see. I was talking about the deer on the right the whole time. So you'll see, uh, unfortunately, we have the wrong deer in frame for the shot. Okay, so like you just saw, we just hit a huge buck. I'm pretty sure I got a really good shot on him. 
I felt really good about it and it looks like it's a monster. I didn't get to count all its points and stuff, wasn't enough time. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't to be honest because I think that would have made me all the more nervous. But we're going to give it, uh, you know, 30, 45 minutes at least and we're kind of here at last light so I think we're actually going to track this thing a little bit in the dark hoping we don't push it. Um, we'll probably err on the side of, of uh, 45 minutes to an hour now that I say it out loud but um, definitely definitely think we'll be able to get on it, find that blood trail uh, and uh, and get them before the morning so uh, wish us luck on the arrow again looks like pretty good blood um, pretty pumped we found two for two arrows they look in good shape it's awesome we can get a little more. Kind of running low on blood, um, a little concerning, but as you can see, this it's not too terrible in here and thick. So, we're hoping to find them piled up under a tree or, um, or see them sticking out. Like I said, a huge buck, so really hoping to get on it, dude. Dude, is that him? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Do you see that rack sticking up? Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Dude, look at this thing! This is definitely my biggest buck! Oh my god! Take a look at this thing, man! Oh my god! She's a beaut! That is awesome! Look at this whole Dude, great job. off the back. Six by five. Beautiful. It's looking a little scraggly. He was getting ready to shed. Where he started, you can tell. But, dude, this is awesome. Here, come around and get the front of this guy. This is awesome. I lost a buck a few years back. That was this caliber, maybe even a little better. So, that one still haunts my dreams. Um, God, this feels like some awesome redemption. This is bigger than that one I missed the other day. So, you know, sometimes my mom always tells me things happen for a reason. You know, God, I wish, I'm so excited to tell my dad and my brother about this. That's the only thing I look forward to after getting a kill. I need, need to show this to him right away. I'm pumped. I am pumped. Holy cow. Really? Oh my god. Put it there, buddy. <laughs> wow. Holy mackerel. Oh my god, is that a beauty? 